Gamescom. And with that, I welcome you to the fourth episode of this Let's Play. And the last episode, we married off our third daughter, Radegund to Margrev Berengar the Unready. And in three years, we will take it upon ourselves to attack uh, Duke Ordov of his failure to retake. Oh, he even is right now. No, he isn't. Count of. Oh, he's just in a war. I thought he was in a war with Bohemia. That would be great. Um, he is right now holding off the title of Mittelmark and Magdeburg, and we want both. And our wife is pregnant again. Now we need both of these titles to regain our Dijewe territory. This territory was, of course, gained through his father, Bernhard of Westphalia, who waged a war against the Lutitians, against this guy, I think, Lech II? No, Stras... No, no, Lech I. Who uh, conquered this territory against Lech the First, and we have to regain now this territory in three years. The peasants of Stade are quite far apart and spread out. Your spymaster Luda suggests in investing in a provincial messenger system so they can communicate with other kin more easily. He claims that doing so attract more peasants to the economy. Yeah, an excellent idea. Now we of course have to take some prestige with us, because that would be a costly and very, very um, hard war to fight because out of his failure, he's one of the most powerful guys in the entire kingdom, uh, empire. Marshal Lima told me about this idea. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he had made it in his belief that this would improve his military. Adopt the martial ideas, of course, to get a little boost on martial, uh, martial yeah, innovations. Interesting, the <laughs> Emperor of Rome usurped some titles. And there is a sickness. Approaching us. Ah, yeah, consumption probe started. Let's see if this overruns us. This, of course, will delay a lot. Ah, no, but it seems like it only goes through Saxony, not to our capital. Luda. And we have another daughter, Atela. Let's call her rather Heilwig, no? Katharina. Ah, Katharina is always a beautiful name. And the Emperor overtook the guy down south. Okay. Yeah, we have to take, an, uh, take a close look at this. Of course, we have to take away uh, Westphalia. No, Mittelmark and Magdeburg from the Duke of Westphalia. Let's wait for that. Yeah, let's just speed things up now. So we just need to we need to wait. Okay, he makes a vacillation war against Ubotritia. And I wish to invite you to attend a military drill. Of course, we need every single help we can get. Do I even owe a favor? No. And we got nothing, sadly. Yeah, but I mean it is what it is. Okay, we're going to make another tradition to faction me, but oh I didn't even saw that. This faction grew. Of course, we're going to send out the invitation to the huge faction, uh, the huge traditional faction. And we're, of course, going to rally some support because he's right now fighting a war. And we're going to propose financial aid, which sadly failed. Yeah, the traditional faction is right now very strong. Even the strongest right now in the realm. Yeah, we are a force to be, to be, to be reckoned with. And lots of peasants have been moving to the county of Altmark lately. Your steward Michael suggests building your roads in order to make it easier for the peasants to reach the central holdings. He insists that in doing so, the county would become more prosperous. Let Michael do the construction, actually. And our uh, truce is expiring. This is the last year of the truce, and we're, of course, going to delete all that. As we turn to my court and council, great. Now we wait until this year is passing by. Fellow member of the Imperial Court has died in personal combat. I regret events forced me to sully your hands in this manner. Uh, but unless I swear no form... Ah oh yeah, we cannot form any factions against him. Does that mean we get thrown out of the traditional faction? No. This just means we cannot form any negative factions against him. The normal ones still can be done. Um, yeah, it's now known as the... Fearless. This is, of course, a great name. And we got the Duchy of Mecklenburg. Great. Obertritia is now a vessel of the Reich. Emperor, Emperor um, Heinrich III of the Holy Roman Emperor, Empire. 
known as the fearless. He's of course a great leader right now and we support him every single bit. Now we just have to wait. Yes, 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 yes. Some stuff is happening. He releases guys from his uh, clutches of imprisonment. And invite for plots. Um, Duchy of Westphalia. We're actually going to support this plot. Where is it? My plots, backed plots. Of course, we're going to actually help him there in his little endeavor. Uh, declared Imperial Religious Reconquest of Sardinia. Count Rodolfo has clearly not found of you. Recently, relations with you and him made worse. I don't really care. I'm sorry. In Quenzo of the Florentine Peasant Revolt has declared war on him. And now June, with June passing by, July comes, and with July now passing by, the truce has ended. And with it, we cannot declare a war. Why can't we? Declare war. I don't have an aggression. Why do I have another an aggression pact with him? Why would I have another one? Did he marry someone? No, why did I have another one? Oh, this means that I... Oh, come on. This is stupid. Now I have to wait another five years? I'm sorry, but I will... Come on, this was too... Okay, wait one sec. Okay, so I now fixed it. I fixed the entire truce thing and non-aggression pack breaker thing because at a certain point it was just silly. You know, I'm not doing anything against it. I'm waiting for my truce to expire and then I get a new non-aggression pack even though I didn't even want one. Yeah, I just personally find that quite stupid. So yeah, I just declared the war manually and removed the non-aggression pack breaker modifier. Yeah, so yeah, okay, we're going to make the big, big, um, the big war against him, just to show it to you. Here, yeah, you can see it. This will be a great coalition against him, together with um, Bohemia, which I will call to arms. They will hopefully answer my call. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to disable the cheat menu. And I will call the Markgrave Wilhelm and Markgrave Berengar. Let's see who will join. Let's see if we can even survive. And I will try to meet up with my armies. I cannot, well, mm, well promise anything. Let's put Lima into the command. Yeah, and let's ho just pray that all of them is going uh, going to honor their call to war. Well, Nordgo did, and Bohemia did. They were the most important of all. And they're not so important, but still nice to have. Mm. Meissen also answered my call and obligated his um, alliance with me. Okay, we are going to run away bravely because our entire country is fighting the most powerful vessel of the entire Holy Roman Empire and we cannot take them on on our own. We need help by our allies and we will stay in Mittelmark, siege it out because this is the focus of the war and just wait until um, the <coughs> our, all, all of our guys arrive. Okay, with them we're going to merge the army together. Great, we took the first province, of course, minus 1%. Now, with those 6,000 troops, oh, 6,000 troops. Yeah, he took some, uh, he hired some, um, some people. We're also going to hire some people. Because I don't want let, I don't want to let anything for chances so i'm going to uh, recruit the bavarian great company where did they spawn oh in the north in Stade. we're going to uh, recruit them so we can smash this army of count conrad Ooh, how count conrad he sounds interesting who is he conrad of arnsberg oh he's a military genius but so is limmer so is limmer so are we 
So yeah, let's let's retake Altmark and meet up actually. Oh, he wants to take Stade. Oh boy. That isn't good. That isn't something in my favor. Yeah, and I will disband, of course, the mercenary army as soon as possible. And let's take him on from two sides. And crush Konrad. Yeah, with that, the great army and the Battle of Hamburg, which will probably go down in history. The 9,000 against the 6,000. Uh, I've learned many lessons from this battle. Aside from application, the theoretical tactics my mentors taught me as a boy, I've learned to deflate, uh, isolate an opponent on the thick of the front, bring all my focus and concentration to bear upon them, and then, within but few rounds of melee, swiftly execute them. I'm proud of my clear progression into a great warrior. I'm making more and more progress in fighting wars. And with that, we won the Battle of Hamburg. And with that, we can also disband quickly our um, mercenaries. And, and yeah. This, of course, is a great, great thing. That we defeated Konrad of Schaffenburg, got some military tech points from that, some prestige, which is of course being, you know, given to everyone. Um, and yeah, this is accounted to uh, actually uh, Egolf, who got some piety from that. Great, now we're going to retake um, Altmark. And he wins the war for reconquering Sardinia, which is now a Roman province, a holy Roman province. Okay, we're now going to siege out uh, Altmark. We have to pay no interest. Let's pay him back as much as we can. I'm actually going to enable this little map mob so we can better see who's our uh, enemy. And my cousin died. Adelberg of Rheinfelden. Yeah, uh, quite sad, quite sad. Ransomed someone. Oh god, I have to. God damn it, I have to make this all in here because this is a bit annoying okay 33% 93% and now we crush the small army yeah this was a major de uh, major defeat for the Westphalians and also you see here those vessel battles they can get very bloody like they can be Unbelievably important, and we are now a novice fighter. And now, the Battle of Mittelmark Tribe, actually, ooh, Mittelmark Tribe, is now taking place. And we destroy the Westphalian army once again, and win this decisive battle against the um, against the Westphalians, which of course makes us somewhat more prestigious. Because we just won a war against a way bigger um, opponent from us. Great, we now have a new province, Mittelmark, together with the von Arnsberg family. Interesting. Under Chief Unwan, we of course have to develop this tribe, right? Put some Earth Hill Forts up to make this a castle. The Mittelmark tribe. Probably this will be Brandenburg. Uh, but all right. Is this our capital? Dutchy capital. Yeah, we probably have to take that from him. Well, we're going to build it up um, all the time that we need. Can we not do? No. Sadly, we cannot. Yeah, we will take our time to build up Mittelmark and then probably take it as soon as in when it becomes a castle. For our focus... We're, of course, going to try to convert a province. This goes without any asking. We're trying to convert, of course, Prignitz. Um, and we have an idle council member, Altmark, who suffered more. Altmark suffered a lot. Yeah, because it was, um, partook, uh, was took over. And he has to admi administer the realm. Oh boy. And the military spending actually kind of was too much. But yeah, with winning the war, we of course now own more land. And this makes us a lot more in, a lot more powerful in the region. Very great. And our little son Bernhard is actually closer to become... No, he is an imbecile. Oh god, we will play an imbecile later on. 
What is going on? Our even our oldest daughter, she's also an imbecile. Oh, this will be very very fun to play in buffoon and idiot. Oh god. And we can hold another tradition faction. We will hold that one, and then there will be um, the end of the episode. He even caught a favor for old Wolf. Are they two in any some sort of way related to each other? Huh. Ooh, maimed. Oof. Digilent and Imperial Commander. Oh. One by one, the lords and ladies of the faction assembled. 80% of the faction uh, of the leader's strength. Countess Sophia of Loon, Bishop Apo of Leech, Gunther of Schwarzburg, Archbishop of Friuli, Borgo Valle, Luca, Manobello, and Pisa. Mm, what do we want to do, actually? I want to strengthen myself, actually. Hold a self congenitally speak, and it made all the lords like me a bit more. Alright, uh, let's assign two new commanders. Maybe even I can buy one. No, 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 no. We're going to take someone we know and know and love. And Luda is, of course, someone we know and love. A very old friend of us. Okay, but we become quite old now. And Bernhard will uh, get the realm. I don't know how this will affect us. A complete idiot will get this. Oh, and we even converted a province? Or did we just convert someone? We converted just a guy. Oh, oh yeah, we have two new child focuses. Let's do them and... yeah, that, Oops, I'm very sorry. Didn't saw that. One, oh, one, two, three. And we get the number eight. So, so she will be trained in the arts of war, interestingly. And we will assign for her a guardian, Lima, of course. And let's do it once again. One, oops, Sada. No, not six. Uh, yeah, one, two, three. Number three. Titburga gets. No, not Titburga. Her. No, her sister. No, where is she? Wasn't there another one? Radegund. Radegund gets heritage. I mean, why not? Teaching them where they came from is something very important. All right. Protect council appointments. Protecting where the powerful vessels be dismissed. Hmm. Interesting. Killed by a rebel. Agnes Ortful's daughter, the my um, sister and uh, my daughter-in-law. Hmm. Uh, my steward Michael has been hard at work at Altmark, increasing infrastructure and motivating the local people to work even harder. Oh. We pay some interest for our loan. What do we even have to pay? Which I think we just have to pay a small loan. This is payable. This is doable. We just need some time. To really regain our strength. Yeah, I'm not going to vote for that. But I'm probably going to vote for a uh, um, burger con obligations. Now that one is hard to do. Oh, he is for that. Oh, the council is even for that. Just, let's just then vote for that. Plitzoria of Aboria accepted the peace offer. Great. Yeah, the Holy Roman Empire reigns supreme, interestingly. Oh, even Denmark has a great game. Oh my god, and Switzerland just broke apart. Oh. Well, um, the Lords of Nordmark have approved the institution of highly tax-oriented burger focus. This, of course, will make our taxes even higher. Which is just wonderful. Now, can we revoke the title? We cannot. Hmm. But what we can do is save for the earthly, the earth hill fort and make it a wooden hill fort. The conversions of the Lutitians. Interesting. The old Lutitians. And we even have Krutoi. 
Uh, yeah, the quotations are now Catholic. This is, of course, great news. We love to hear that. That means we don't have to worry uh, anymore about our Slavic companions in the north. All right, great. He doesn't even like us. Broken a truce. Uh, yeah. As I said, I just I tried to remove that because I th just thought. I mean, come on. We worked our ass off and waited until we finally got away with that little trade, and then it just reappears. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to call now the fifth or fourth episode. I think this is the fourth episode of this little project. I hope you enjoyed that, and we will see us again in the sixth episode. Until then.